I'm Rosalie Lawrence and I'm a graduate student at UC Berkeley, uh, currently participating in the physiology course. Um, and I come from an experimental biology background, but have been really excited while I've been here to get really exposed to thinking about how to take advantage of quantitative tools and particularly quantitative modeling to uh, think about my science. Um, and one really cool experience that I've had since being here is actually working with Rob Phillips and Yane Kondev in the theory rotation, in which we actually get to bring our own problems and think of our own questions in biology and see what we can learn from applying both analytical uh, modeling as well as uh, simulations to these problems. Um, at home, I actually work on a signaling pathway uh, called the mTORC1 pathway, which is actually a master regulator um, of cell growth in mammalian cells. Um, and this is a kinase complex that's actually recruited to the surface of lysosomes, um, which is the location where it's activated. When it's recruited to the lysosomes, it can then phosphorylate downstream uh, substrates which activate pro-growth pathways. So I, in my own research, have been really curious and interested in how this pathway is regulated. And in my rotation with Rob and Yane, I've been able to actually test some key assumptions that the field has made about how this pathway is regulated, specifically whether the fact that this kinase is actually um, constrained to a two-dimensional surface on the lysosome affects its signaling output. So I've I actually got to uh, derive uh, 2D and 3D diffusion equations to really think through the consequences of having this kinase be in three dimensions versus two dimensions and think about the probability that it would interact with activators. Um, and we were actually able to learn from this that the lysosome appears to have a, a two-fold two order of magnitude effect on enhancing the rate of interaction between these, this kinase with its effector, um, which is really, really interesting and empowering to realize how it's possible even with, without a whole lot of math background, once you're exposed with the right collaborators in the right environment, to really get a handle on thinking about a question that's fascinated me for a long time and I've never had these tools to think about it with. So overall, it's been really amazing and getting to interact with uh, Rob and Yane as well as the TAs and the other students um, has been an incredible experience.